Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to talk about how to remove certain characters from multiple cells. And in a previous video I showed how to do this with just using one variable. But here I'm going to show how to use VBA programming, or more like a macro, to remove characters from an entire range. So to get started, uh, let me explain to you what we're going to do. The information that's already on this page already or on this worksheet has HTML in it, or at least some HTML code, where we have like the ampersand quote, which this is a quote, we have the fractions, and then we have some spaces. What I'm going to work with specifically are going to be the, the spaces and the quotes. So I have some notes that are already set here that these are the characters that I'll be looking for, and I'll be replacing either with a double quote or with a space. So to get started, I'm going to go to Record Macro. I'm in the Developers tab. I'm going to select Record Macro, and I'm just going to call this macro Replace Characters, and I'm going to hit OK. I'm just going to select the range that I want. I can either select the entire column, or I can just do, for example, A2 down to A20. And then I'm going to hit Control H to give me the Find and Replace. And what I'm going to do is copy the quote, change that to the double quote, hit Replace All. So it's all 33 replacements. And then I'm also going to do the, sp the space. I'm going to set that up just to a space and hit Replace All. I'm going to hit close and I'm just going to select long description and hit stop recording. This will just give us the basis for the macro. I'm going to hit edit. So now we see that range A2 to A20 is selected. We can modify this and do sheet 1. And it's probably going to be a good practice to select the sheet also in the beginning. Sheet 1.select and then that way we won't get any kind of errors when the code is executed. And we can see the first replacement is right, let me undo that. The first replacement is set up right here. And then here is the second replacement. And if you read the code from left to right, selection.replace, what's being replaced, the quote, and we're replacing, replacing that with. And then here, we're, you'll see that this is a little bit confusing. The route that I would have taken is use the replacement using the, the character key. And then all this code is just generated by the VBA recorder. Now there's another way to do this, but this is going to be the fastest way to do it to where you don't have to do that much coding yourself. It's already all set up. And if you just wanted to change the value, you can. The other route in, in doing this same code, but your own manual VBA, would be written like this. I'm going to do sub replace characters. I'm going to do manual VBA. I'm going to put row number is equal to 1, do a do loop first, do do events, and do row number is equal to row number plus 1, and then I'll do sheets, well I'm going to do sheet 1 dot range, column A, and the row number that we're working with, so I should put the description is equal to that. And so then what I want to do is change that value to be the description is equal to replace the description. And what I want to replace are the quotes. And I want to replace that with, I believe it's character 34, which is the double quote. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up an ASCII character map because I don't memorize those. I don't know if anybody does. You might memorize some. So let me just look at the character map. Character 34, this is what I'm looking for, is the double quote. So what I'm going to do is this is what I'm finding, and I'm going to replace it with character 34, which is the double quote. And what I also need to do is replace the space. And 
I'm going to re replace it with just another space. And the last thing that I'm going to do is do sheet one dot range a and row number is equal to the description. And what we should do is loop until row number is equal to 20. That's just going to go to row 20 or what we can do is we can do loop until and we can use this value place it right here is equal to and then just put double quotes meaning nothing but in this case I'm just gonna leave it at 20 and let's try this code out but before I do so let me copy the same exact information over that way we can make sure it works and let's just try running that macro now I'm gonna do replace characters manual VBA let me go on and hit run and there you have it we have essentially the same results and the the macro was written out manually so that we have the both examples both methods placed out in front of you feel free to tweak them to your program and hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching